Oh, cool. All right, so in this case, what I have is 1 third, 8, and 2. And what we're trying to do, those are the zeros. And what I'm trying to do is uh, determine the polynomial that's going to have those zeros. Now, the main important thing is when we're trying to determine the polynomial, we want to determine the polynomial with integer coefficients. Therefore, we don't want fractions as our coefficients. So that poses a problem because one of our zeros is equal to 1 third. So our normal case that we'll do is we'll take our zeros and we'll set them all equal to 0. So x equals 1 third. We could say x equals 8, and then x equals 2. Now, so the common thing that students will do is they, you know, just like what we've done for all of them, is now we set these equal to 0 so we can um, go backwards on the 0 product property. So you subtract 2 on both sides, subtract 8 on both sides, and they'd subtract 1 third on both sides. So therefore, you'd have x minus 1 third equals 0. You would have x minus 8 equals 0 and f x minus 2 equals 0. So that becomes the case. But then what you're going to do is you're going to multiply x minus 1 third times x minus 8 times x minus 2 equals 0. And we multiply all these not to set them equal to 0, but that's how we got to that point if we were working this problem backwards. So we're going to set that equal to f of x. But the problem is if I multiply by 1 third in this factor, my issue that I'm going to have now is that um, I'm going to have fractions as my coefficients. So I need to determine what is another way that I can rewrite this factor without a fraction. So what we like to do when we look at this is if I have x equals 1 third, what I can do is instead of setting this equal to 0, what I'm going to use is my inverse operations. And what I mean by that is rather than subtracting 1 third over, let's multiply by 3 over 1 on both sides. So therefore, I have now 3x equals 1, and then subtract 1 on both sides. So therefore, now my factor is 3, geez. Now my factor is 3x minus 1. So you can see 3x minus 1 is the same thing, or see here, 3x minus 1 equals 0 is the same thing as x minus 1 third equals 0. Right? That's the exact same thing. But the factors are different because now this is going, this is going to give me a factor, though that when I multiply this, um, I'm going to have um, integer coefficients. So let's go ahead and work with this. Um, now we've got to multiply this out, which is a binomial times a binomial times a binomial, which is going to be very fun. So to do this, I'm going to use the box method because a lot of times when I'm doing something like this, um, I can some, come, sometimes get everything mixed up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a box because remember, multiplication um, provides a product. So if I say on this box, I'm going to have this as x minus 8, and this would be x minus 2. Now I just find the area of each box. x times x is x squared. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. x times negative 8 is negative uh, 8x. And negative 8 times negative 2 is a positive 16. Then I notice I can combine these two because they have common terms. So therefore, that's going to give me x squared minus 10x plus 16. But now I have to multiply that times uh, 3x minus 1. So again, you could go back and use FOIL if you like to. But I like to use this box. But now instead of having two terms, now I have three terms. So again, I'm going to create another box. And now on this left side, I'm going to multiply it by 3x minus 1. So then between each, since I have three terms now, I'm going to make that um, into three, three columns here on the top. So again, now I just go back and multiply. 3x times x squared is going to be 3x cubed. 3x times negative 10 is a negative 30x squared. 3x times 16 is going to be a 48x. x squared times negative 1 is a negative x squared. Uh, negative 1 times negative 10 is a positive 10x. And negative 1 times 16 is going to be a negative 16. Then again, I circle the terms that are going to be common, have common factors, so I can combine them. So therefore, my final answer here is going to be f of x equals 3x cubed minus 31x squared plus 58x minus 16. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you determine your variable. Uh, or that's how you determine your function when you have three zeros, including one as a fraction. Thanks.